watch this. My name is Clarissa Young. I'm your fab motivator. That's F A B. I help other women find acceptable balance when it comes to esteem, health, wellness, and prosperity. I'd like to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for liking, for commenting, for sharing this video and joining me along my journey. If you're looking for me, I'm here every Monday every Friday and every Saturday at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I also upload the videos on YouTube. I'm the Clarissa Young, so please be sure to go and like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Clarissa Young. Good morning, good morning. Oh, there's supposed to be a timer going on in the background. Let me start it, sorry. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning, Tasha. Let me put the timer in the background. There is a timer going on in the background that helps to keep us on track of our workout. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get ready to do our workout. Our workout is in the chair this morning. It's gonna be cardio in the chair, so just come on in. Let's get ready to have fun in the chair. Be sure to hit the bottom left share button to invite your friends. Good morning, Miss Brenda. Guys, I'm super excited. If you have not heard, my book is soon to be out. I am taking pre-orders for the book as well as the shirt. I am sure that you and your loved ones will be affected by this book. This book is a faith-based self-help weight loss book that's going to help us to be able to break years of mental bad, let's not say bad, unhealthy habits that we've made for, for years to help us along with our fitness journey, setting goals, finding support partners, getting past breaking points, so many different things. So be sure to either drop a comment here, hey Clarissa, I want information on being able to get the shirt in the book, or either inbox me for the fastest response, okay? So, for our workout, let's get ready, right? There's a the time going in the background. Good morning, Vicky. Good morning, Cynthia. We got a little bit of time because I started the timer late. Where y'all from? Where y'all from? I'm in Florida. The weather's decent here. Hi, Miss Julie. Good morning. Good morning. Who all in the line? Where we at? Is Detroit in the house? How about that? Is New York in the house? Um, is Boston in the house? Good morning. Is Gary in the house? Champagne, Illinois, and how Miami in the house. Alabama in the house. Good morning. All right, y'all. We're about to start. We're about to start. We're just waiting on the time. Ten. All right. Marching in our chair.
Comic-Con style, in 2010, I signed the Disney Pledge to fund good causes. Let's make change happen. Relax.
virtual goal. Hey, beauty. My name is Christina, and I'm going to show you today to share with some very amazing news. If you go to GoDaddy.com. Yes, yes, yes. I feel the burn too. You see that sweat? I got a sweat. Go on, boop, boop. Thanks, Miss Daphne. Who said you couldn't get your workout in your chair? They lie. They lie. Whoop, whoop. Yes, yes, yes. Whoop, whoop. All right, let's get ready. Round three. Let's go. Rep one of ten. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> on them burn pills. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, one more, one more. Yes, I'm yes, yes. Science. Yeah, the music does help. I signed and when the commercial stop, it would be the best. Walk, walk, walk. Make change happen. Do you want to dance? Rep one yeah. ten.
up. The end of the chair, give it your all. But if we can move around a little bit on a daily basis, standing, let's try to do a little bit standing. Anybody down? I love you, Tanya. You're not lonely, girl. You got all your fab sisters, all your fab supporters. You got the one above. Lovely, nice, good, good, good. I don't want you to feel lonely. Feel lovely. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, Miss Hayes said, bring it. Anybody else say whoop whoop? If you're down for another round, can I get a whoop whoop? Give it a time to catch our breath too, right? Latine said, bring it. Everyone sit. I'm Tom Steyer. In 2010, I signed the Giving Pledge to Fund the Causes. Let's make change happen. Miss J. Lou said, let's go. I got you, Sonny. Keisha said, let's go. I don't know what's going on this morning, y'all. Like, I'm too deep this morning. All right, let me find us one song. One song. Sonny said, whoop, whoop. Renee said, whoop, whoop.
129. This is a bit of a My heart feel like it's coming out my chest. <laughs> All right, y'all. Great job. Great job. Let me get some more. watching this. My name is Clarissa Young and I'm your fab motivator. That's F-A-B. I help other women find acceptable balance when it comes to esteem, health, wellness, and prosperity. I'd like to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for liking, 
for commenting, for sharing this video and joining me along my journey. If you're looking for me, I'm here every Monday, every Friday, and every Saturday at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I also upload the videos on YouTube under Clarissa Yon. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Sonia. Um, so be sure to go and like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Clarissa Young. At the end of each video, I like to give a little bit of tips, motivation, and encouragement. <laughs> I can't help but to laugh because I know sometimes, <laughs> I know sometimes my God be just, he, you know how sometimes you give your child that look where you just like, like what I'm going to do with this one. <laughs> Listen. I want to know how to sing so bad. I want to know how to sing so bad. Like I, I want to have that voice that when you when you open up your mouth, like it just melts the crowd. And so in my head, sometimes I'll be thinking I got that voice until the tune come out. And then I'm like, oops. <laughs> but either way, the song is called Hang On. Hang On. And listen, even with my singing, I'm going to hang on. When you, when you have your different shortcomings and, and your different things, it's okay. It's okay because God know how to take that, that one thing that's your shortcoming and he know how to magnify it and make it to something beautiful. Maybe I can't be a solo singer, but I can harmonize. Put me in the background with a few other people to sing on top of me and then we'll come and all shine together. But anyway, it's Saturday and on Saturdays we work out in our chair um, because I believe to just move. To just move, whether if you're standing, whether if you're sitting, just move and just love yourself while we're on our fitness journey. Just start somewhere, and once you start, continue to push. Continue to push forward. We're gonna have our good days and we're gonna have our not so good days. But however, every day is your day. Every day is a day for you to be awesome. Every day is a day for you to be grateful. Even sometimes when we have stuff that seems so shook up around us, sometimes it's still. You need to be grateful in it. It, it reminds me of a, of a story and, and I'll give you an example of how crazy my faith could be sometimes. I remember back when we were seeing, me and my husband, we currently own the home that we're in. It's a um, three bedroom, two and a half bathrooms, upstairs, downstairs. Um, and in Florida, upstairs, downstairs is, is not as um, popular, right? And so, but however, before we lived here, we were renting. And we were renting in this place in Florida that's called, it's called the Greens. Um, and this particular area is, is frowned upon um, by people. Like, it's like, oh, you over there? It's like, it's one of those areas to where it's like, oh, oh. And we were there with the rent on a weekly basis and we were struggling we were struggling okay um behind in bills even with the low mortgage even being in the, the lower community area we were struggling and it was like a week before thanksgiving give me a little background story so you can understand the depth of what was going on uh, it was like a week before Thanksgiving. Things were already tight. We hadn't bought our family Thanksgiving dinner or, or did anything yet. And every Monday, we pay our rent. Every Monday, you go into the office and you drop off your rent money. And this particular Sunday, I took the money out the bank. And I put the money in the glove compartment of my car. And this particular day, I didn't lock the door. I unlocked the door to the car and in that neighborhood it was very common for people to walk around and pull on doors to see if you unlocked them or not and this was the night that they decided to go and pull on doors and they went and they pulled on our door and sure enough they found the money and so it was in the morning Monday morning my husband leaving out and he like I guess he saw the lights and stuff was on and he was like Rissa did you take the money out the car? And the only thing I said out of my mouth was, thank you, God. I was like, thank you, God. And my husband, in his head, he like, oh, she got the money. And I didn't have the money. Our everything at that moment was in that car. Our rent that we was already behind on, 
our Thanksgiving money, our everything was in the car and they had took it. They took it. And the thing that came out of my mouth was, thank you God, with tears down my face, thank you God. And I said, thank you God, because I know that though this was something that was supposed to set me back, this was something that was supposed to hurt our family, I know that the way that my God works, that even in my mistake, that even when the enemy tries to form a weapon that it shall not prosper, that we will be okay and that we will come out on top. And so I praised him and I said, thank you, Lord, because I know I'm thanking you in advance because I know that you're about to come through and you're about to show out. And that's what he did. He showed out. But us being behind in our rent, we went and we told them what happened. We didn't get an eviction. I think we might have got, I don't know if they did late fees over there or not family was able to have a Thanksgiving dinner and eventually with some work we were able to get caught back up but I, I said it all to say that even when we're going through our trouble sometimes we just got to give God the glory and give God the praise at that moment and it's not because I had some backup plan it's not because I knew that somebody owed me some money or I was gonna get a bonus at the job or, or anything like that. It's because I knew that I had a God that I can rely on. So even though hell and chaos looked like it was all around me, I knew that I had a God that when I looked back over my life and I thought about the different things that I had been through, that he's always been there. He's always been there. He doesn't leave me. He doesn't abandon me. He doesn't judge me. He's there. And so while you're going through your journey, while you're going through your phase, no matter what it is, I always say, whether if it's fitness, whether if it's relationships, whether if it's finances, don't thank God based upon what you have in your hand. He wants to know that you trust him even if you have nothing. He said, your job, your money that you got is not for you to take care of yourself. It's for you to give back to the kingdom. The birds don't have to go work and then get their food. God provided. Now, they, you, you got to work. You can't sit back and do nothing. You got to at least be praying or you got to move or you got to do something, you know. But however, don't, don't thank him conditionally, you know, because he doesn't love us conditionally. He's always there for us. He loves us no matter what wrong we do. He loves us no matter how crazy our thoughts could be. He loves us no matter how many mistakes that we made. Like, he's always there and he loves us. So we have to make sure that when we thank him, that when we praise him, at my 515 pounds, feeling defeated, don't know how I'm going to get this weight up off of me, scared I'm not going to wake up in the middle of the night, I got to still thank him because I know somehow, some way or some other, he's going to come through and he's going to show out and he's going to make sure that everything is okay and I know when we're going through it sometimes it's hard to praise but sometimes we just got to go back and look at where we came from and remember you know what that time I was in that abusive relationship he delivered me from it that time when my kids needed something they needed it not wanted it they needed it and I didn't have a way to get it I remember this one year it was Christmas time, and I'm not one of those that when Christmas comes, like, you got to spend all of this stuff, right? But I do want my kids to have. I make sure <laughs> I walk and breathe for my kids, all four of them. And, and um, at this time, I just had just the one, just my 10-year-old. And it was just me, and things was tight. Things was tight. It was Christmas Day. It was Christmas Day, the day Christmas Eve, and I had gifts in their way, in their way, with no money to get them out, with no money to get them out, and I'm like, Lord, we open up gifts at midnight, <laughs> and my kids, my kids gifts are at Kmart, and I don't have no money to get my baby, my baby gift out. By the grace of God, I got a phone call, Miss Hooks, come pick up your toys. The kids' gifts have been paid off. Come pick up your toys. I don't. It wasn't a whole bunch left on it, but the fact that my guy, he stepped through. When I go back and I think of so many different things that he's come through and he stepped through. So sometimes when we're going through stuff, we just got to go back and realize the guy that we have, that he's here. 
He's here. He's always been here. It may not work how you thought it was going to work. Yeah, I planned to have those gifts out and wrapped and under the tree a long time ago, but it didn't happen that way. But he still made sure that even that minute thing, because that ain't even what Christmas is about, you know, but even that minute thing that was on my heart, he made sure that I was able to see through. You know, you may be looking at a job that, that was giving you hell and you had to be able to pick up your kids on time and you have to do this and and that neighbor came and knocked on your door and said hey i see you trying to do this you know is it can we share can we barter if if i pick up your kids because i know you can't get off on work on time will you drop mine off because i can't i gotta go to work too early mm -hmm. you know just just so many different ways that god comes in and he helps us you know and so when we're going through the struggle and trust me i had i had a breakdown yesterday I don't get up on here and tell y'all all of this stuff because I'm perfect and I got it all together because this is this is how I live, but I'm human as well. I had I had a breakdown yesterday and it was it's all it's a good breakdown and I'm gonna get up off of here because I'm rambling. It's a good breakdown. It's like I'm like, Lord, who you pulling me in a thousand one places, Lord. You're stretching me, stretching me, stretching me, stretching me. And I'm just like, where to go, where to go, where to go, where to go. It's a good thing, right? Because I'm I'm a full-blown entrepreneur full-blown entrepreneur my, my 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 upline she said welcome to entrepreneurhood you know I, I got the book that's going on and I'm finishing it up and trying to get t-shirts and everything together trying to get the book launched together I'm in charge of the HOA treasury here at my job with the thing still trying to sell y'all the liquid life hope trying to be a mother trying to be a wife trying to help my husband with the business trying to trying to trying to trying to trying to and I'm like Lord Getting ready to go to Costa Rica. Got to get the passport together. Got to get this. Got to get that. I'm like, Lord, baby birthday coming up. Lord, I was tired. <laughs> but he said, Rissa, I got you. And I sit back and I think on when I was upstairs and in, in, the, in the closet before. I don't think I had even quit my job yet. And my guy told me, he said, it's going to happen so fast. You won't be able to keep up. And so on times when I get frustrated, I remember that. He told you it's going to happen so fast. Your life's going to change so fast. In the blink of an eye that you won't be able to keep up. I'm like, Lord, I didn't know that mean I was going to be overwhelmed. I just thought that mean that the bank account was going to overflow. <laughs> we have our way of how we think it's going to work. And he has his way to say, I'm going to show you how it's going to work. Just sit back and relax and believe in me, okay? All right, guys, I love you so much. I can talk to you forever. I promise to go back to read the comments. Um, again, the book launch is September the 26th. It's at 7 p.m. in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It is a free event. Come on out. It is going to be awesome. And I have instructors there for one of them being me four instructors there we're gonna work out we're gonna eat we're gonna dance we're gonna sign some books take some pictures and just celebrate mm -hmm. celebrate the different things that not only what's going on in my life because i know that those that read this book will forever be changed in their lives and their family lives as well and so celebrating the changes that's to come for all of us okay love you all so much love you love you love you talk to you later okay bye bye Promise to go back to read the comments. Thank you for sharing this video, okay? Later.